Hey guys, and welcome back to another video of me hacking my hair. <laughs> So today I'm going to be doing a straight cut instead of the usual layers that I do because as you must be aware now, my hair isn't as thick as it once was so I don't see the need to add layers now and my hair will look thicker with a straight cut. So that's what I'm going to be doing today instead. For the straight cut, I'm going to be using this fake Korea clip and I absolutely love this clip because I don't think I'll be able to cut my hair straight across so accurately without it. So what I'm firstly going to do is I'm going to brush my hair out straight back and then I'm going to put the clip in making sure that there's no hair left behind and I'm going to secure it by clipping it. It's got like a securing mechanism and then I'm going to slide the clip down to where I want to cut it. I swing the hair round to the front and then I just cut straight across. I was being a bit too brave so I decided to cut a little bit off at a time instead of doing one big chunk. It's best to start off small instead of cutting too much from the start. You can actually get someone to help you. All you have to tell them to do is cut straight across where the clip is. But I always cut my hair by myself and as you can see it's still efficient by swinging the hair around. I repeat the steps again to cut off a little bit more because I didn't want to see any gaps in my hair at all. I want it to be quite thick. So as you can see my ends are looking so much better already and my hair actually looks thick again. It's an illusion, but it actually makes my hair look thicker doing a straight cut. So I'm just taking one side of my hair and I'm gonna comb it out, then add the clip, slide the clip down, making sure it's like straight across my chest and cut straight across. Then I repeat the same steps to cut more hair to get my desired shape. Then once I'm all done, I go ahead and repeat the steps on the other side. Once I'm done cutting both sides, I'm gonna check if they're even and they're not. So I'm just cutting more to even it out. For the very front of my hair, I'm just going to round it off because I hate to have like that edgy look at the front of my hair. So I'm just taking a clip and I'm sliding it down in a slanted angle and I'm just rounding the hair off and I just keep going until I get my desired shape. So I just want a round, a rounded look instead of like having corners or edges. <laughs> So that's all done now and just a look at those fresh ends. <gasps> oh, I love it, I love it. <laughs> so you can totally stop hair and be done with the haircut, but I like to add face frame layers to add more shape to my straight and curly hairstyles. So I'm gonna part off the very front of my hair from the top of my hair down to my air on both sides and then I'm combing it out. I'm gonna add the clip, slide it down in a slanted angle again and I'm not gonna cut straight across. I literally just wanna round it off. So I go from the corner on one side and I just round the hair off just to cut off those scraggly hairs at the front. So I'm rounding it off from the back to the front, if you get what I mean. Probably not explaining it well, but you can see in the video what I'm doing. <laughs> so I'm just cutting those scraggly hairs that are closest to my face to get that slant cut, as you can see. And then I'm just gonna repeat the same steps until I'm happy with the shape. I just want a rounded curve cut at the front of my hair. Once I'm done, I'm just gonna check if the front part blends well with the rest of my hair. It doesn't, so I'm just gonna trim it to make it blend better. So I'm just gonna cut those long hairs to round it off. Then I'm just gonna repeat those steps on the other side as well. 
as you can see i'm cutting a curved shape at the front rather than straight across in my old videos i used to just feather cut it but sometimes that can go left really quickly but basically that's the effect that i was going for by doing it this way i just feel like this way i got a lot more control you can actually use the clip to do a feather cut you know like when you take the scissors and trim 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 but yeah i just prefer to do it this way because i have a lot more control using the clip But yeah, that's all done now and this is how much hair I trimmed off. And the cut looks so good guys, it's blended well, my hair looks so much thicker and the cut looks really good with my curly hair as well. I'm going to be doing the same haircut in 12 weeks and this is the haircut that I'm going to be doing until my hair decides to get thicker. <laughs> but yeah, that's all there is to it guys. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, don't forget to give it a great big thumbs up. Leave any comments or questions down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content from me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!